time to choose March's book, and we have three really interesting options for you to vote on. Option number one is All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. All the Birds in the Sky is about a witch and a mad scientist who are childhood friends who get separated by mysterious circumstances while they're in middle school. And then as adults, they both end up in the same city. And the mad scientist is an engineer and the witch is now working with a group of witches trying to save the world from the world's elements. And something is drawing them together to either save the world or destroy it. Option number two is Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. On a dark night, a badly wounded man bursts into an inn uh, with a dead child in his arms. Yeah. And then several hours later, she wakes up. Ah, yeah. Um, but she can't answer anybody's questions because she is mute. Oh. And nobody knows who they are, but three families think they do. So the whole town is trying to figure out what's going on and trying to answer all the questions that, that this brings up. Uh, and at the same time, three families who all feel they have very valid reasons for claiming this girl are trying to bring her into their families. So this is about this mystery and about this town and about the people in it. Option number three is Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World by Haruki Murakami. So this book seems kind of random. The title itself sounds like two different things. So it's the Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World. And that's kind of what this book is. It's two different stories and it's told in alternating chapters. One of the stories is a utopia and one of them is a dystopia. So one is about like he's a computer analyst sort of except he does all the computing and analyzing in his brain and then he gets recruited into like the government or CIA or something similar to all of that and that's kind of one of the storylines. And then the second storyline is this man comes into a town that has really, really high walls, like really high. And in the town, he is kind of bullied into giving up his shadow and he's put to work analyzing the skulls of unicorns and recording their dreams, like the dead unicorns. But like in this town, there's like unicorns grazing. So they're two completely different stories. And I mean, I'd be really interested to see what they do have in common or like what they have to do with each other because they have to have something. They're in the same book. If you are watching this on Twitter or Instagram, you can click the link in our bio to vote. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link in our description to vote. And if you're watching this on Facebook, hooray, you're already here. Just go to our group, The Literarily Wasted Lounge, find the poll, choose your book. There you go, we're done.